Good afternoon, this is HorseRacingNation.com handicapper Jared Horak, and this is the video feature race of the week. This week's feature race for Saturday, July 19th is going to be the Grade 1 Diana, uh, sponsored by TVG. It's going to be for fillies and mares. They're going to be traveling nine furlongs on the inner turf course. It'll go with Saratoga Race 10. We have a 10-horse field this week. Uh, it looks like a wide-open race. Uh, as for the pace, it looks like Somali Lemonade number 3 will probably go out there and, and be on the lead early. Uh, number four, Emollient, will probably be tracking that one. Uh, Discreet Mark, number six, does have some tactical speed, should be sitting behind that group. And then coming off of a layoff, your morning line favorite, Alterite, number eight, will probably be sitting mid-pack. Uh, the rest of this field uh, like to come from a bit off the pace. We'll go right down the line. We'll talk about each one and their chances. We'll start with number one, Salad Appeal. Uh, this one is a, a th uh, has three grade two wins, uh, all at Woodbine. Uh, going to set like a mid-pack type trip. It uh, might be uh, just a touch behind these uh, from a class standpoint. Number two, a backo. It uh, does like this distance. Looks like a grade three type, but at nine furlongs, it has four starts with two wins, a second, and a third. So it does like this distance. We mentioned Somali Lemonade as the, the pace setter. Well, the last four starts, this one has two wins, a second, and a third. Uh, but at nine furlongs, has five starts with no wins. Uh, did finish second and third in, in two of those races. So I think the distance is too far, uh, but the combination of this grade one and the nine furlong distance, I think she'll be up there for a good portion of the race, but I think in the late going, uh, she'll end up getting tired. Uh, number four, Emollient. This one's lost four straight and five of her last six. She was really good last year, uh, but uh, doesn't seem to be as good this year. She did run a better race last time, but she was drifting around in the stretch. Uh, didn't look good in Southern California. Uh, she's going to be up on the pace. I just don't think she's as good this year. Uh, I'll try to beat her today. Uh, number five, Strath Neighbor for Trainer Graham Motion. It's a grade three winner. Uh, does uh, have a couple uh, underneath finishes at this distance. Uh, two, two starts, a second and a third. Uh, will be running late. Wouldn't be surprised if ended up in uh, at least a trifecta. I think he's a much better chance uh, for her to, to hit the board than to win this race. Number six, Discreet Mark, is going to be my top choice in here. A one for one at Saratoga. Also, two starts at the nine furlong distance with a second and a third. Uh, I think that the key here is the distance and the fact that uh, this one has come, came out of a mile race, uh, ended up finishing fourth. The pace was quick, had to run uh, hard throughout. In these nine furlong races, the pace is typically a little more moderate. She likes to be up there and she can just gallop right behind the pace setters. Uh, as I mentioned, there'll be Somali Lemonade and Emollient. She'll sit right behind those two, hopefully get the first run on the closers and, and, and then hold off those closers. A 5-1 to one morning line, I think she'll be every bit of that. Uh, number 7, Carolyn Thomas. This one won the Grade 2 Lake Placid at 9 furlongs at Saratoga, uh, but doesn't seem to be as good, good as this group coming off of an optional claiming win. This is a, a pretty big step up. Uh, your morning line favorite, Alterite, number 8. Uh, this one had three starts in, in North America last year, uh, all three in the Grade 1 ranks with a win, a second, and a third. Uh, so certainly has run a lot of good races. Chad Brown really good off the layoff. Uh, Javier Castellano is going to ride back. Uh, and interesting too, you, you look back at the Grade 1 Garden City last year. Alterite won that one. Discreet Mark was second. Uh, they look like the two to beat in here, and Alterite will be my second choice. Not sure what to do with number 9, Stephanie's Kitten. Uh, this one uh, was third in the Diana last year. It uh, doesn't seem to be in as good a form, but maybe rounding back to better form. I heard she's training better, and I wouldn't be surprised if she jumped up and ran a, a decent race. Uh, Frankie Dettori is going to ride her. Uh, just don't know really what to do with her. I wouldn't be surprised if she ran well. I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't come in. Uh, number 10, Tannery will round out the field. This one will be coming from off the pace. Had a grade 1 and a grade 2 win last year uh, at 10 furlongs and 11 furlongs. I just think that outside post, the nine furlong distance, I think uh, that's going to do her in. Again, she's got the class to hang in with this group, but I think with that outside post, this distance, not sure she's going to be able to, to hang with this group. Uh, we're going to make the $40 wager, and this is how we're going to make it. We're going to make a $16 win wager on number six, Discreet Mark. We're going to play an $8 exacta box with Discreet Mark number six and Alterite number eight. And then we're going to play a 50 cent trifecta. We're going to put the six and eight on top. We're going to put all in the second position. And then we're going to put the six and the eight in the third position. That 50 cent trifecta will cost $8. Uh, for that, it's a total of 40, the $16 win bet, the $8 exacta box, and then the $8 in the trifecta. If you go over to picksixblog.com, each weekend I'm going to have a pick six and late pick four tickets from Saratoga. And then during the week, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, I'll have pick six 
late pick four tickets from Del Mar. You can follow Horse Racing Nation on Twitter, like us on Facebook. And if you, if you want to play the big $15,000 game on Derby Wars for Saturday, July 19th, go over to derbywars.com. Uh, Saratoga and Del Mar races will be part of that $15,000 game. We also have our biggest game ever, a $100,000 game, uh, coming up on August 31st and September 1st. You can start qualifying now. Go over to derbywars.com for details. That'll wrap up this week's video. Good luck at the races.